What is up guys over on the Carnage Clan channel, my name is Erbo and today I'm bringing you guys another class setup. Today we're going to take a look at the CBJ, SMG, and Call of Duty Ghost. Now the CBJ is an SMG that has a really high fire rate and has some pretty unique characteristics that I'm going to get into and this gun is absolutely amazing close range and not too bad medium to long range either. Now I have two setups for you guys, one's for core and one's for hardcore. Now make sure you guys stay around for the hardcore setup because I show you guys some of the characteristics that the gun has and let you guys know where the gun really really shines. So make sure you guys stay around for that like I said and for the core setup we're gonna take a look at a rushing class setup for it you know some assault streaks so you could just run and gun run around get those kill streaks and get a lot of kills it should be a lot of fun so I'll see you over there okay guys so now that we're in the create class menu I actually have two setups to show you I have one for core and one for hardcore I guess we could go ahead and start off with the core setup since that's first um, so for attachments I like to run muzzle break in foregrip like I said before the CBJ has a really high fire rate and I find that these two attachments work really well to counteract that you know the muzzle break just helps me you know kill people at longer ranges it takes less bullets and the foregrip comes into play because I'm able to keep my target right in front of me and keep my aim on point so that really helps now I don't have one a secondary no lethal but I do actually Actually have on a tactical I like to run a concussion with the CBJ I find that it's really effective when I throw it in the building then I follow up with it and I just run with my CBJ and just rip people apart that are stunned and that don't have tack mask on now if you guys want to you could take off the stun grenade or the concussion and put on a nine bang I know some people like that better um, I just prefer a concussion just because I've been playing Call of Duty since COD 4 and you know concussions have always been in um, so now for perks I actually have on slate of hand steady aim dead silence ICU and focus now I'm not sure if I mentioned this before but this is an assault class and we are going to be running and gunning and rushing around. So I had to move down some of the perks that I would normally reserve for my specialist bonus down into my like actual perk setups. Um, you know, just because we're running assault, like I said. So um, one of the perks that I moved down was sleight of hand. Now I usually, you know, like I said, reserve that for my specialist um, because I'm usually able to get three kills with the gun. But speed is key here with this SMG. You know, you just want to be able to run around, rip people apart with that high fire rate. And you're going to be reloading a lot, so sleight of hand is huge. And then I have on steady aim, just because I like to drop shot and, you know, that high fire rate again. It's so huge with this gun. It's so effective. You want to be able to just hit fire people and just turn on them. Um, so that's really awesome to have that on. Now, dead silence, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't want people to hear me. And then focus. Now, like I already mentioned before, this gun is a little bit jumpy, and it gets super jumpy when you're getting shot at. So focus helps keep that under control. And then I have on ICU. Um, you know, we're going to be running around. I need to regenerate health as fast as possible and get to that next kill and get that next kill streak now into the actual kill streaks themselves i have an ims sentry gun and vulture i find these to be the best you know you're able to get that ims right away drop it down get that sentry gun drop that down and then call in the vulture and that's where you could just run around like crazy um the vulture has your back um so that's really awesome there too so uh i'll just scroll through these really fast again there we go and now on to the hardcore setup Okay, so now that we're in the hardcore setup, I actually have something really important to tell you guys that I actually didn't notice, um, and that is that the CBJ has armor piercing rounds built into the gun, and that is huge for hardcore. You know, in hardcore, everybody runs ballistic vests, and these armor piercing rounds just rip right through that, and it doesn't even really affect you when you use this gun in hardcore, and that's why this gun is such a beast in hardcore. I can't stress enough, guys. Please try it out. If you guys are hardcore players and you have not tried out the CBJ, slap it on. You're going to love it. Now, I have changed up the attachments in this one. I put on extended mags in foregrip. You know, I didn't really find that the uh, the muzzle break is that necessary in hardcore because everybody dies just so easily. But the extended mags do help because you are going to run into large groups of people that are, like, camping. Um, so you don't want to reload too, too much. And then the foregrip just helps to keep that gun, you know, right on target, like I said before. Now, on this one, I don't have on a tactical, secondary, or lethal. Um, I took off the concussion just because I don't really find it to be that effective in hardcore. Now, onto the hardcore perks. I like to run ready up, sleight of hand, dead silence, scavenger, ICU, and blast shield. Now the big one here is blast shield. I always mention this. You can survive two IEDs using blast shield, so that is awesome. Everybody runs IEDs in hardcore, and that just helps counteract that. Now I also have an ICU, regeneration is key in hardcore and in core with this gun because you are going to be rushing around. Scavenger, just so I can pick up those scav packs and just keep moving. I also like to run dead silence so people can't hear me. Set of hand, just so I can reload fast and ready up because speed is key in hardcore. Um, you know, whoever sees who first, that's usually who wins a gunfight in hardcore. Um, now for the strike package, I'm running support. Now I love support in hardcore because it's really easy to get the kill streaks, and kill streaks are really, really useful in hardcore. They make a big difference. So satcoms they give you that radar, let you move around a lot faster, know where some of the enemies are. B vest gives you that extra health, so you might have a chance to you know turn on somebody. Um, unless you're using CBJ, like I said, those armor piercing rounds are huge. 
um, then I have an Oracle just to get see people through walls. Now this is a really effective hardcore class. I love using this gun in hardcore. I find it to be the best gun in hardcore in my opinion. Um, just those armor piercing rounds are huge and that high fire rate just rips people apart. That's pretty much it guys for the class setups. I'll just go through this one really fast again in the core. Um, there we go. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, favorite, and possibly subscribe. And if you guys want to check me out, my link is right down in the description below. And thanks for watching.